welcome back to my channel my name is Satakshi and I'm so so excited that you're here today I'm going to be sharing three ways to customize your desktop wallpaper so a couple days ago I came across this TikTok where they basically made a desktop where they organized their folders and icons that were already on their desktop using their wallpaper and placed it in different sections I found that idea to be super duper cool so I wanted to make my own version and also make a tutorial for anyone else who might need it so along with that idea I share two more ideas today on how you can make your desktop really aesthetic and pretty easily using Canva. So speaking of Canva, I basically tried to use all the tools that were already free, but if you're currently a student, you can get one whole year worth of free Canva Pro subscription just by going on this GitHub student developer pack. So I'm going to leave a link for that down below. I think that's all I had to say for the intro. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the easiest way to gather all these aesthetic pictures is by going on pinterest.com and just searching up whatever color aesthetic that you want and just writing aesthetic after it and for example i wanted beige aesthetic and all these pictures popped up with that and from here all i like to do is just pull my browser a little bit closer and whatever picture i like i just like to drag it right onto my desktop And once that's done, you can go right onto Canva. And what I have is a folder where I keep all of my things. So this is my desktop wallpaper folder. And I already have a sage green aesthetic folder. So I'm just going to call this beige aesthetic. And drag all of these pictures that I pulled out right into here. And just like that, you're done uploading all your pictures. All right, so the first kind of wallpaper that we're going to be doing is the TikTok organizational desktop wallpaper. And essentially the point of this desktop wallpaper is to organize all your links and folders right on the desktop properly. And in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're gonna start off on Canva and just create on create a design. Now Canva already has inbuilt sizes for your desktop. So you can just look up desktop wallpaper what I've noticed is that this doesn't work for MacBook Pro 2016, the one that I use. So I just like to create a design and put in my own dimensions. So just go in custom size and the width for me is 2800 by 1800 and just cre click create new design. So once you're here, what you're going to start off by doing is just clicking the background of the color. And I already have a bunch of aesthetic color palettes that I've input right here. Because my desktop organizational background, I'm making it the sage green aesthetic. I'm just going to go in with any of my colors here. You can easily look up any sage green aesthetic color palettes online to get the hex codes or whatever color palette it is that you're looking for. So the biggest part of this kind of desktop is to create different organizational boxes where you can put the things that are necessary to you. So I'm just gonna go right here in elements and go in shapes and go with this rounded square. I love the look of the rounded square because it looks a lot less harsh than the regular one. So I just like to use this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this this color. You can even go with another color palette if you want. I'm just going to put that there and maybe even lower the transparency a little bit and basically organize it however you want. So this is one that I wanted to for screenshots. So once you're done with this, what you want to do is go into text and create the different sections. So I'm going to go right into add a heading. Canva already has many inbuilt really nice fonts and features of headings. The one I wanted to use for this is one of my favorite fonts, which is keep on trucking regular. And I'm just going to go in and name it different things that I want it to serve. And I don't want it to be the harsh black color, so I'm going to change it to this. However, I'm going to go into effects and either lift and see what looks better or shadow. I think I'm going to go with shadow and create a shadow of a really like a similar color, basically. So I like the way this is looking and I'm just going to go in and copy paste this once again. Put it right here and call this class info. Okay, so now what I'm going to do with all of these 
extra space is upload some of my different aesthetics. So I already have this folder called Sage Green Aesthetic. However, you can just go right here and upload and upload whatever pictures you want. So for me, I really want something that keeps me inspired to be this boss babe person. So I want to put this here. And you kind of just have to play around until you like the sizing and the look of everything. And you can even add a quote here and there if you want to. So over here, I want to add like a little quote in the Pinterest section. I'm probably going to use this font called Brittany. This is the one I use for a lot of my graphics. And I can do aim to inspire because I absolutely love that quote. And I can, I'll put it right over here. But that is what it's looking like currently. Once again, there's many different ways you can go about it, but that's what I'm going to be doing. And you can just click download right here. And once that's done, you have your desktop. And I'm just going to drag everything that I already have right into where it belongs. And what I did for my classes info actually is that this is all linked to my canvas. And I just changed the icons by getting clicking get info and just pasting whatever image I wanted right here. And then for to-do list, all I like to do is click on stickies and put it right over here. And that's basically an overview of how to create the TikTok organizational desktop for free using Canva. Okay, so this next kind of desktop wallpaper that I'm going to be showing you is probably one of my favorites and I call it my mood board desktop. I'm going to start off the same exact way that I started off before and just click a background color that I want. You're not going to be really be able to see the background color, but you can go for it. So the main things that you need for this are just the pictures that you took from Pinterest. And I pulled it up right here on the left. And what I'm going to start off by doing is just dragging on each picture that I want. So the reason I love this kind of desktop is because this helps you imagine the kind of life that you want to be living. I wouldn't necessarily call this a vision board because it's not exactly setting your goals in place. However, this is helping you you kind of envision and inspire you to live the life that you want to live. So whenever I make any mood boards like this, I really put inspirational pictures that basically tell me that, hey, this is the kind of life that I imagine for myself. So all I'm doing right now is just grabbing all my pictures and positioning them on a way that looks aesthetically pleasing. I also put a picture of these coats because these bubble jackets are so in right now and I desperately want to get like bubble jacket like this in one of those nude colors. Okay, so this desktop, I'm pretty pleased by it. Basically puts my mood right onto the desktop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download this page and this looks so, so gorgeous. I'm actually super duper obsessed with it. Obviously, I'd have to change up all of my icons and folder stuff, but it's definitely worth it for this background. What I'm going to start off by doing is once again changing the background. This time I'm making it this color because I'm doing a light blue aesthetic. And the quote I want to go with is do more of what makes you happy. So something I want is a rainbow on mine. So I'm going to go in elements and click on a rainbow. Okay, so Canva already has so many beautiful options. But the best thing about Canva is that you can go in and customize each color. So for example, if I don't like this, I can literally go in and change each individual color. So I want to really make it like my theme. So I'm going to go in and just change each color. I'm going to change the background color actually. I don't want it to blend too... I don't want it to blend too much. So this creates sort of like a stark background. After you're done with this, basically what you want to do is just go into text and click add a heading. I really don't want to go with this. So I'm going to find one that I like because... Canva already has so many inbuilt options and this is one that I really love. I can and I will. I'm obviously not doing that quote but I love the font and the design and layout of it. So what I'm going to do is just change the quote but keep this entire thing the same. Initially I said I want to do the quote, do more of what makes you happy but I think I'm going to do good vibes, good life instead because I'm all about the good vibes. 
kind of looks beautiful just the way it is but i do want to make it like better colors not just like this So what you can do is you can make it go over here, move the rainbow over here. Basically up to you how you want to design it. Another thing I might add is let's see if there's a white sparkle. So that looks so so cute. I'm actually really obsessed with the way it turned out. You can go a lot more creative with this. This was a very very basic design. There's also inbuilt backgrounds right here on Canva that you can use. Like if I wanted to go with if you wanted to go with this or this, you know, whatever you wanted. I just wanted it very simple and basic. That looks so cute. So if you're really about that, you know, very positive lifestyle and you want that motivation every single time you open your macbook then this is the one for you it actually looks super cute so i'm obsessed Alright guys, so that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed all three of the desktop wallpaper ideas that I showed you. My personal favorite has to be the first one that's currently my desktop right now. If you do decide to recreate or make any of your own versions, please tag me or send me a picture. I would love to see your creations. But that's it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!